So here we are this morning at uh, Norden. We're in Judy Paul Penzance in West Cornwall. We are in Cockington. Behind me is Hayward Mainbridge. Here we are at Bristol University. We're on the side of the uh, South Bristol Link. It's a state-of-the-art facility. We're on the road again for the 2017 IC Southwest Engineering Awards. We're amongst some stunning scenery in the Southwest, as you can tell, and we're here to see some of the greatest engineering projects that the Southwest has to offer. We're really looking forward to it. The judges are ready, the scenery's ready, the weather's ready. If you're ready, let's go. You don't often get the chance to share what you do on projects like this with the wider industry, so it's really nice to have people here asking questions, putting different perspectives off, of course. They can learn, they can teach, and they can take stuff away, and hopefully uh, we can spread the good word of our industry. A award-winning project is something which is clearly being well thought out, is going to be produced, that's going to benefit society, local communities, and it's something that's got a bit of a wow factor. The main thing is the problem solving. I mean, you know, you can go in and you can fix things, but you've got to go in and realise there's a problem and can we do it more efficiently, can we do it better, and come up with some, some sort of easy solution that will actually make everything a lot easier to build or a lot easier to construct and a lot easier for the community afterwards. This place is a great example of how people and engineers can work together for the better of the local community. This year, look at today with the sun shining, it is beautiful. We hope to open in three weeks' time. We hope to get thousands and thousands of visitors coming to this pool. This is the most celebrated Art Deco Lido anywhere in the country, and it was designed by a civil engineer. You know, this building has been saved thanks to the ingenuity of the engineers who have actually fixed it to the bedrock below us. And uh, all being well, it'll still be here in 150 years' time. I think one of the things that really got me into engineering was, was seeing big, impressive buildings and bridges all around me and thinking, God, they look so complicated. I mean, where do you even start with designing one? I came to the university here, and just a few years later, I found myself as part of a design team working for that same university. In fact, I had a, a friend that, that sent me a picture of the concrete hand sleeve and saying, are you, are you responsible for this? And I sort of proudly responded, yes, I, I was involved. I did the design of that, I did the, the calculations and, and the analysis. So here we are this morning at uh, Norden, which is just up the line from Corf Castle, uh, which is in Dorset, on the Jurassic Coast. So my name is Frank Roberts and I'm the Senior Project Manager for Project Wareham, which is the Swanwich Railways uh, element of the £5.56 million project to reinstate the railways between Wareham and Swanwich. We would not have been able to achieve this project without, the, without engineers, that's the bottom line. Um, we know what we wanted to achieve in terms of the overall vision and end result. We have a landscape architect work on the project advising us about the, the restoration of the landscape and what needs to be achieved in terms of the works. And then we have the engineers actually advising on the technical solutions that are going to make that possible. So without all those three links in the chain, none of this would happen and be successful. Um, it feels so good to be nominated for such a prestigious award. Um, the whole team, uh, EDF, Atkins and the University have put such a huge amount of effort into this over the last sort of five years or so. EDF couldn't have done this by ourselves. We couldn't have extended our station lives by ourselves. We needed the expertise from Bristol University and Atkins to work together and by doing that we can actually help extend our station lives and well, keep the lights on. Because we visited 12 different projects across the southwest, varying in scale and size and engineering difficulty. And some of them, people might say, well, this isn't even engineering, you know, this is just a bit of landscaping. But the engineering uh, inspiration and intuition is needed to solve some of the problems that we've, we've looked at. But how we compare chalk and cheese is, is difficult. But we are looking for the engineering approach. You know, how the, how have the problems been identified? How have they been tackled? what innovations have people come up with. One of the things I really enjoy is that, um, and I can tell my wife and children don't, is that as I drive around the southwest, as I drive around the whole country, I constantly drive over roads that I've worked on and bridges I've worked on, 
and they hate hearing what I've done here and there and as I look around and whatever so I enjoy making a difference I really see that and I I'll enjoy talking about it I like, to, I like to tell people about it and uh, yeah we don't get the chance to do that very often so that's great. Engineering is, 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 is fundamental it's fundamental to a successful uh, region successful economy and successful country and to, to, to be part of that story I think is, is, is it has to be exciting. Uh, we're on the side of the South Bristol link. Um, usually construction projects have a deadline of getting the road open for cars. Um, we were slightly different that we had to get the road open uh, for a thousand Santas on their bikes who were going to open the road on the 18th of December uh, 2016 and who were all local residents and, and people we've been working with throughout the whole project uh, started off in Bristol and cycled all the way four and a half kilometres to the other end um, and finish off at Ashton Court for mince pies and mulled wine. The level of engineering that we've seen uh, across the southwest, it's, yeah, in some cases it, it, it stirs the heart. You know, you're actually seeing people who are so passionate about what they're doing and the way they've committed to it and they've got the funding sorted out and they've engaged with the communities and they're actually seeing something that's an idea which has been transformed into something tangible on the ground with benefits to the community. So we're seeing how the engineering profession is providing a, a circular input, you know, starting with the community, doing something, feeding back to the community, and the community get the benefits. And that's, that's, that's what really impresses me. I know there are bigger projects than this that are probably up for awards, but this job has been a, a, a passion um, because it's it's old, it's, it's just not a new build job, it's, you don't often get to do this sort of work um, and I think with the heritage of it, although it's a small job, I think it's, it's as good a job as any for an award, if not better than some. So an engineer makes a difference to whatever he's working on, be it a road, be it a bridge, um, and this one was, this, this is, was built in 1926. It's heritage, it's part of our heritage, and to have an involvement in it and to keep it going is important and you get a great deal of satisfaction from it. The work itself may not seem that novel, because it's painting, but painting in this environment, um, and when you've got the vessels going underneath and scaffolds, um, working in the ties, is, it, it was quite a task. It was amazing when uh, I was talking to local residents during the construction, they were coming to me and approaching me saying, what are you doing to my bridge? Uh, and I've never felt the community have such ownership over something which is ultimately just a highway asset. This bridge is a, is a really good example how getting communication right can really pay dividends. It was an incredibly smooth project. They engaged a couple of years early, they talked to people, they brought the landowner in very, very quickly, they've got a great laydown area. It's an absolute perfect example of how engineering and communities can work side by side to achieve the best result. What really comes across is the passion that people exhibit for their, for their projects and, and how proud they are of what they've done for society. Have I got any favourites so far? I've got a few that are up there, but it'll all come from the judges' debate later on. There's um, an awful lot of hard work gone into this project from a, a very significant team of people, but uh, from a personal perspective, I think um, to be able to look at this and say you played an instrumental part in its, its commissioning and uh, getting it to, to full operation is, uh, is a huge achievement. Uh, my name is Drummond Modley of Wessex Water, uh, Programme Manager for the Water Supply Grid. There's an element of it uh, behind me here called Sturminster Marshall Pumping Station and Reservoir. Uh, the new infrastructure across the whole of the West Country has been built using, uh, designed and built using traditional techniques. But what's really important uh, for this whole integrated grid has been the application of new new digital technology that hasn't really wasn't in place 10 years ago but is available now to use for the benefit of our customers in maximizing the control and efficiency of moving water from one part of the area to another. We've seen a spectacular exhibition of civil engineering in the southwest. It's been fantastic fun. We've travelled the length of the region. We've seen ingenuity, we've seen problem solving, we've seen collaboration and we've seen community engagement at its really, really best. Um, for me, two things really, really stand out. It's the passion and the drive for the people that we've talked to uh, across these projects to really, really deliver for their customers and the community. And the other thing is really how engagement really, really early in these projects really drives value and brings benefits to them all.